look at someone like a possibly Kobe Bryant when I've seen him personally get in people's face and just cuss them out to their damn near in tears mm -hmm. and they're grown men. Mm -hmm. You know Michael Jordan probably would have been fighting his teammates if he had to see some of the stuff that these guys do. So I feel like what makes LeBron great, he's always been knocked out. Oh, he's not a killer. He'll make the right pass. And I've always loved that. But I also think sometimes that hurts him because not saying I've never had him as a leader and I'm sure he has his ways of particularly leading this team. But I know for a fact if, if, if the two guys that I mentioned before saw some of the effort and energy that he saw from his teammates this year, it would have been an issue. I mean, mm. when Kobe, Dwight, and... Mm. and I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I've just seen Kobe, Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad at their team. It's not, out of, it's not out of spite or nothing. It's, it's out of passion for the games. It's out of them wanting you to do, do good. We're on the team together. We got to win. You know what I'm saying? They want to win. Come on, man. Like, it, it, you got to have somebody like that on your team that's going to really hold people accountable. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? And Nash. As well as themselves. Y'all yeah, see the title, man. Let's get to it. As you guys know, Dr. J recently published his top 10 list, right? His top 10 players of all time list. And in this list, he had players like Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Oscar Robinson, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor. Um, then he had, um, what is it, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, Urban yeah, Magic Johnson, Karl Malone, and Tiny Archibald, right? Now, this particular list that he put out, a good amount of people have disagreed with his list, saying that he's, this is wrong of him, blah, 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 which is fine. Everybody gave their opinion on it. Uh, see, this and this one thing I got to learn, too, you know, because I, I tend to say a lot of people are, 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 are crazy, you know, things like that. It's not even, it's not even y'all crazy. Y'all do have y'all own opinions, you know what I'm saying? Everybody thinks different. So, at the end of the day, it's not really wrong or right. It's, all of this is subjective, you know what I'm saying? However your opinion or your, you know what I'm saying? However you feel, honestly, it's all We it's even about. produced a show around so this, it's fantastic. Like, it's never, that's another thing. It's never going to come to a real agreement, you know what I'm saying? Where uh, MJ fans, LeBron fans, Stephen Curry fans, Kobe fans, it's never going to come to agreements where all these fans see eye to eye, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's great about this. It's always going to be basketball debates forever. You know what I'm saying? So today I was listening to a segment from ESPN Radio and Jay Williams was on there. And they were basically dissecting the reason why uh, Dr. J would leave LeBron James off of his top 10 list. Right? So they're talking, giving their points back and forward. Then a caller calls in. And the gentleman says, hey, listen, that's his opinion. I would have LeBron in my top 10, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the guy goes, my top 10 consists of um, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. I think he said Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, Bill Russell, and I think Magic Johnson. So he says his piece. He comes off the air and the lady goes, um, I just don't see why any way you would have uh, Kobe Bryant in the top 10, in the top five. I don't see why you would have Kobe Bryant in the top five, right? And the moment she said that, the moment this lady said this, it reminded me of the time on ESPN a while ago. Oh, he's talking about Malika Andrews said this. When I'm, 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 the like, Lakers just saying were struggling. She, probably not trying to give her the Around the time they had something. Russell Westbrook. Uh -huh. And on the panel, they had, I believe, Kendrick Perkins, Matt Barnes, uh, Malika Andrews, and maybe someone else, if my memory serves me properly. So during the segment, they were talking about ways the, the Lakers can kind of dig themselves out of that hole, considering the level of talent that they had with the Russell Westbrook, with the LeBron James, with an Anthony Davis, with you know these guys. And Matt Barnes, who was a teammate of Kobe Bryant, essentially started to say the truth about Kobe, his leadership style, and how if it was Kobe Bryant, uh, that if he, it was Kobe Bryant staring the ship, uh, he would totally, you know, have, yeah, if, if it was Kobe Bryant staring the ship, he would have totally handled things totally differently. And as he was talking, you could see Malika Andrews, like with this expression on her face, like, yo, what are you, what are you talking about? And then as soon, I don't even think he finished his point. She didn't even allow him to finish. And then she starts going off about why Kobe Bryant, like would not have done a better job. So what we want to do is want to play exactly what um, Malika Andrews had to say here play, about play, Kobe, play, 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 uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna come back and react to the comments. I'll take a listen to that. Thing. I just but like, question: bro. Would you build a website for a major brand with more than two hundred million? Look at someone like a possibly Kobe Bryant when 
I've seen him personally get in people's face and just cuss them out to their damn near in tears mm -hmm. and they're grown men. Yeah. You know Michael Jordan probably would have been fighting his teammates if he had to see some of the stuff that these guys do. So I feel like what makes LeBron great, he's always been knocked, oh, he's not a killer. He'll make the right pass, and I've always loved that. But I also think sometimes that hurts him because, not saying I've never had him as a leader, and I'm sure he has his ways of particularly leading this team, but I know for a fact if, if, if the two of the guys that I mentioned before saw some of the effort and energy that he saw from his teammates this year, it would have been an issue. I mean, mm. when Kobe, Dwight, and... Mm. and I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I've just seen Kobe, Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad at their team. It's not out of, it's not out of spite or nothing. It's, it's out of passion for the games. It's out of them wanting you to do, do good. We on the team together. We got to win. You know what I'm saying? They want to win. Come on, man. Like, it, it, you got to have somebody like that on your team that's going to really hold people accountable. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? And Nash. As well as themselves. All had injuries, though. They didn't win a playoff game. They neither got to did, the playoffs, but, though. But they didn't win a game. Neither did this Lakers team. The year 19, when he was averaging 22 on 37% shooting, Kobe did. The Lakers, they went 10 and 25 in the games that he played in. So, I, I, I'm not sure it's I, – I understand what you're saying, Matt, but I'm not so, so sure it's say, well, Kobe Bryant would have been the white horse. So you heard uh, what Malika Andrews had to say. It's not so much what you say, bro. It's how you say it. Like, you see the way she was, it's like, she was definitely, like, trying to, you know what I'm saying, diminish the things that Kobe Bryant accomplished and, and the play he was, obviously. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell that by her tone. And that's another thing I'll be saying with the LeBron hate videos. You could tell, you could tell somebody's hand by their tone of voice. Or if how strongly they feel about the opinion, you know what I'm saying? Stay there. First of all, let me just be honest with y'all. When she was saying I like that, that word, I was you know what I'm saying? pretty, 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 pretty. Um, I was pretty annoyed. Right? I was pretty, pretty annoyed. I was pretty annoyed because, um, first of all, what she was saying wasn't the truth. The fact that the matter is not the truth. The Lakers, the year they got Russell Westbrook, they did not make it into the play-in tournament. Forget about the playoffs. Mm. They didn't make it into the play in tournament. At the very least, Kobe's Lakers actually got to the playoffs and lost in round one to the San Antonio Spurs. So for Malika Andrews to just try to brush over that and say like, and act like, oh, no, 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 it's not the same. Like, no, no, it's quite different. One guy got to the playoffs and the other guy didn't. Number one. Number two. The other guy actually made a declaration that the clip, the Lakers would make the playoffs and the other guy told you that the, the, the storm was coming and it was a bunch of, we all ran outside with umbrellas and it was a bunch of drizzling. That's the fundamental <laughs> difference. That's good, uh, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. And it was, was a bunch tough. of, we all ran outside <laughs> with umbrellas drizzling. and it was a bunch of drizzling. That's the fundamental difference. So that's the first part that needs correction. The second part, she threw in there, which was a Nick Wright move. She said, but the year Kobe Bryant shot 36%. Of the, first of all, the year Kobe Bryant shot 36%, what happened to Kobe Bryant? He ruptured his Achilles tendon, right? I think he did. Because the year before, he was putting up amazing numbers. So what happened? Kobe got trashed all of a sudden? Well, no, he didn't. Only a facetious, only not, not only a facetious, that's even the wrong word. Oh, only a person that's a liar would go up there and state <laughs> something like that when they know a that liar. they're holding some information from very ignorant. Nah, that 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 it, it was funny the way you said that just because it could be calling everybody yeah. lies on the stage something choice. like that when they that know that they're withholding some information from very ignorant viewers who may not know this <laughs> so they will hear that information facts because i really don't know nothing about uh, uh 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 kobe bryant's like the ins and outs of his career you know like i don't know nothing I, uh, you know what i'm saying when he was going i was young man i was real young you know what i'm saying <laughs> I was there for. I, I watched. I watched the last game though. Oh, trip! I watched the last game. My bad. <laughs> Come on, RP Kobe. Then run with it and start regurgitating it all over the internet. But. Kobe hurt himself that year. The second and the second point is, uh, the year that you're mentioning, Kobe Bryant shooting 36. percent Was he playing with two other top 75 players? Help me understand. Who was the player on his roster that was on the level of an Anthony Davis or Russell Westbrook? Russell Westbrook. I'll wait for you to give me this information. It never happened. Facts. And this goes back to the reason why Kobe Bryant called people to, at ESPN a bunch of idiots. I think people like this have taken it personally against Kobe because he called them a bunch of a bunch of buffoons. Mm, okay, okay, so it might be this too. 
we gotta look a little. It might be you know what I'm saying you know uh, 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 Malika Andrews is like the ESPN puppet. ESPN might be pushing on a nasty narrative, you know. Trying to get Malika Andrews just to, you know what I'm saying you gonna say this for us. You know what I'm saying push out put. He said this publicly and some of their absurd rankings and all of these different things. Now, some of you guys may be saying, but wait a minute, definitely hold the grudge you could be that. capping. You could be capping. What if this this audio of Malika, and, I mean, not Malika, uh, J1s and these guys, what if they never said it? What if, I never heard anybody disrespect Kobe. Well, for those who are doubting, we want to play exactly what this lady, I don't even w care to know her name, uh, was today, and Jay Williams, or what they had to w say Evidence, about Kobe Bryant. Take a listen to that. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't have an issue with it. I just think that people, like people should, should not have a big deal about it because everybody has, I mean, at the end of the day, look, is that is that a, a bad thing if people don't pick LeBron as his top five? Because I don't I don't put um, listen. My top fives are Michael, Magic, Russell, Kobe, and Kareem. That's and, fine, but will LeBron it. James be your top ten? Because we're we're doing a top ten yes, list yes, of the top is. five. He, yeah, yeah, so that's he, that's the problem. That's that the was point, my though. problem, and thanks so much for the call, Manny. Like my problem was the the ten, you know, and and man, I vehemently disagree about having Kobe in the top five and not LeBron. But nevertheless, like my my problem is that if we're giving ten players, like who in this country doesn't have LeBron in a top ten list? So you heard it there for yourselves. I used to feel like that as well, you know, but I came to realize that, as I said earlier, it's all opinion, you know. You can't fool somebody for thinking how they think, you know, or feeling how they feel. You're not in their shoes. You, you're not seeing through their eyes, through their point of view. So, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You heard it there for yourselves. ESPN has one of the most idiotic top 10 lists I've ever heard. In their <laughs> top 10, they have Kobe Bryant in number <laughs> nine. That is a flagrantly stupid list, in my opinion. If Kobe Bryant is not in the top five, I can't take your list seriously at all. Because now I got to go through the players you have in the top five, and I'm going to have some questions. I'm going to have some questions. You have Kareem in the top five, no problem. But if you have a, cal a caliber player like Kareem, then you got to have a caliber player like Michael Jordan. Well, they, well obviously, right? So you got yeah, Jordan. Yeah. That makes sense to me. You got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That makes sense to me. So who's left? Some people may say, well, Magic Johnson. Well, if you put Magic Johnson... How the hell could Magic Johnson make it in the top five, but Kobe Bryant can? Kobe Bryant beat more 51 teams in the span of two years than Magic Johnson ever faced in his entire career. Kobe Bryant has as much rings as Magic Johnson. Kobe Bryant was the better offensive player, the better defensive player. What are we talking about here? Like, what are we discussing here? So how does Magic Johnson get to make it? Magic Johnson has made a ton of all NBA teams. So has Kobe Bryant. Help me. What am I missing here? What am I, what am I not understanding? Maybe, so, maybe it's, it's just the fact that people are... Uh, 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 it's, it's more than just just on the court. Magic also saved the NBA, you know. And I'm just I'm just trying to I'm being the devil's advocate, I guess you could say. I'm looking at all point of view. That's what I'm trying to start doing, you know. The objective guy, call me the Mr. Objective. You know what I'm saying? Or, but maybe that's what they're doing. They're looking at what Magic did for the NBA, and he's he's a big reason the NBA is here today. I don't think I don't think the NBA would be here today without Magic and Larry Bird, right? Someone, someone, let me know if I'm correct with that in the comments. So if Michael Jordan is not 100 sure, but greatest pretty, player of all yeah. time, Kobe's the closest thing we've seen to Jordan. Yeah. But he doesn't make it in the top five. What kind of stupidity is this? Well, it's not stupidity; it's flat out hating. So I can't respect no list if Kobe Bryant's not in the top five. In my personal, I cannot respect your list. I cannot, and I think you're a troll or you're a hater. And I've said it before. Nah, and I, I feel like I feel like that. My honest feel, I feel like that. If you don't have Bron in your top ten, I feel like. It's some type of, you know, biased, some type of, uh, 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 something that, you know what I'm saying, you're not seeing things clearly, in my opinion. But, I digress, man. It's not, you know what I'm saying, it's opinion. I'm going to reiterate the point, and I really, it's up to who cares for them, for you to be bothered by it. Kobe Bryant was the guy they had to remove out of the, the GOAT debate. He's the guy, he's the guy. He's the guy whenever you bring him up. Oh, no, why are you mentioning Kobe? Because these guys know you can't. If you, if what you got to do is trash Kobe to make LeBron look like he's big and then put him next to Jordan. I don't care what y'all feel about it. It is what it is. Suze, you can make as many videos about me, ride him on me. It don't matter. You still trash anyway. Nobody I mean, watching it. You got to be, you got to be a, 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 a fair though, gang, because that's the same thing MJ fans do to, I mean, yeah, to LeBron, to big, M, um, to big Michael Jordan up. It happens to, all, all, all fans of NBA players or stands, you could say, do it. You know what I'm saying? 
I guess, put down the player to big someone else up. Well, not all, but most. Hey, channel, bro. You don't put my name in the title, nobody's checking for you. Nobody's checking for you. Nobody's so checking crazy. for you. Spending two hours on a live. How much you made on that video, bro? Hmm? Nah, why are you talking like that? What did you do? So I'm going to just keep it. I'm going to keep it. Why are you talking like that? What are you talking about? You don't put my name in the title out of my meat. I don't care what y'all feel about it. It is what it is. Suze, you can make as many videos about me. Suze, what? Me. It don't matter. <laughs> You're still trash anyway. Nobody watching your channel, bro. You don't put my, my name in the title. Dream is from a... Yo, James. They got my boy Dreamers Pro out of character right now. I ain't never seen my boy Dreamers Pro talk like this. Talking a bad talk right now. Like, nah, y'all bugging. I'm really... I'm him. Nobody's checking for you. Nobody's checking for you. Spending two hours on a live. How much Yo. you made on that video, bro? Hmm? What you did? Sheesh. Big baller. What did you do? He's talking so about I'm big gonna balls. keep it, it hundred. And this is the reason why they disrespected this Yo. dude a lot with their stupid list that they put out. How you got this dude Jeez. nine? Help me understand. You got the I'm players. I'm like, wait, hold up, what? It's hot, boy. You got Larry Bird ahead of Kobe Bryant. How? You got Magic Johnson ahead of Kobe. AC How? 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 Help me understand it. How? Dude is five and seven in the finals. He has a winning record in the finals. He faced more tough teams than anybody in the top. In the top five, in the top ten. Yes, Kobe Bryant did face the most competition of anybody in the top ten. And he won two championships back to back without a second without a second top ten player. He's the only player in the top ten to win two championships in a row without another top seventy five teammate. And beat three top seventy five teammates. Who else did that? Who? Who? Is he talking, is he, talking fast? he has the most you game know? winners in NBA history. I think in arguably I'm not the most sure. clutch player in NBA saying, history. Yeah, I can fact check. Obviously, one of the top ten defensive players of all time. Go uh, look up how many all defensive teams Kobe has made. Go look how many all first defensive teams he's made for guard or wing. Like, what are we talking about here? He made twice as many <laughs> all defensive teams as LeBron did. Yeah, that's the end of this one, though, bro. Yeah, bro, just rated, get his feelings out, his opinion. You know. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Let me know how y'all feel about the things he said. I don't really know too much about Kobe yet, y'all. I'm saying I dug. I know more about Michael Jordan's career than I know about Kobe's. I guess you could say. Why well, I seen more of Michael Jordan's career than I seen of Kobe's. I'm saying all I know about Kobe is the is the is the memories I have. You know what I'm saying the 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 the. the you know what I'm saying the mom and mentality stories. You know what I'm saying. At, at, at basketball trials, you know what I'm saying? Coach start talking about Kobe like that. Who, who, who this Kobe guy? You look up the highlights of oh, that's Kobe, okay? You know what I'm saying? He's still in the league. You see me like, but, you know what I'm saying? That's it, this one. Comment, uh, like, like the video. Turn on post notifications. Click on the last reaction. Share the video with your people. Some out here, man.